so much to learn about It'll make you want to shout Blippi! <gasps> Whoa! Today we are at the Florida Aquarium and this is gonna be so much fun! Let's go! Whoa! This area, you can actually touch stingrays with two fingers, okay? Come on. I didn't quite get him. Oh, here he is. I touched him. And he's really soft. And it kind of has a little mucus type of feel, really slippery. Stingray? Wow, there's so many tropical fish in here. Oh, like that little guy. Ooh. Okay, let's go down here. Whoa, there's hundreds of them. Look at the angelfish. Hey. Ooh, this is a black and yellow fish. Hello. Keep going. Let's see a little yeah. Oh, what's in here? Whoa. Look, they kind of look like rocks. See those? But they're actually alive. Okay. Oh, what do you do right here? Ooh, I think it's time for a picture. They have really long tails. Ooh, let's go on this side. There's a big shark. I have a better place to see all these fish at. Hurry, let's go quick. Aquarium. Oh, it's coming close. Look at that one.
after seeing all different types of sea creatures under the aquarium, I got to go on top of the aquarium and do something really special. Whoa! Look at this place. We are on top of the coral reef at the Florida Aquarium. This is a little behind the scenes for you. I've never been on top of an aquarium before. Oh, look at who it is. What's your name? Oh, hi, I'm Eric, and you're Blippi. Yeah, wow. I'm Blippi. I can't believe you're visiting. Yeah, what do you do here? Oh, I'm a curator here at the Florida Aquarium. Okay. We're right on top of the coral reef, and curators take care of animals, and we can care, and it means everything from round the clock health care to, guess what? What? Feeding time! Woo! Yeah. I love food! I love food too, it's lunch time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it is? It is, it's lunch for the sharks, it's lunch for our big turtle flip you're gonna meet, for all of the thousands of fish that are in our environment here called the Florida Coral Reef. Woohoo! Alright, I think it's time, let's go! Flippy, we're heading over to the feed station right now, and let me introduce you to Alyssa. Hello! Hi. How are you? Good, how about you? Good! So we are about to be feeding the deep side of our reef tank. Okay. We got a lot of different fish here, but we have a lot of different fish in the reef that like to eat. So right there. Take a good sniff. That's some fresh Ooh. fish there. Yeah. Yum. Yeah. <laughs> nice big mackerel. Ew. So Maybe what we'll have you do is put on some gloves. Oh, I should have done that first. <laughs> it's super simple. Take a big scoop of fish. Okay. And you're just going to throw it out into the reef. And you'll oh. see a bunch of fish swim out. All in the form. here exactly. Boy. So right there we have some squid, uh -huh. we have some herring, we have clam and night smelt. Oh, a whole mix. Can I sneak a little for myself? Yeah. yeah lunch is not going to come faster. <laughs> All right. Where to? Over this way. Yep. Right field. That's a sports turn. Yeah. Good job. That looks tasty. All that right. looks like some good squid and mackerel there. <laughs> yeah. Three, two, one. Hey, Blippi, you're doing a great job. Now let's go down below and see what it looks like to be a fish underwater watching all that food come down. Okay, Ready? let's go. Let's go. Alyssa, take us from here. After feeding all of the sea creatures from above the aquarium, Eric took me back down below so we could watch all of the sea creatures eat all of the food I just fed them. It was so spectacular. And then I went on over to the wetlands exhibit. Whoa! Look! A duck! It's so cute! Do you see it? Quack, 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 Can you make the sound of a duck? Quack, quack, quack! This area is where they have the otters. Look! Whoa! Look at him do backflips! This place is so beautiful! Oh! Whoa! A python! A python. Whoa, look how big it is! Jeez, that's scary. Come on! Ooh, some cute birds over here! These are spoonbills. And they're white and pink! Look, he's looking for food! Fish are so big. Whoa, get really close. Can you see it? Yeah. 
<sighs> Such a big fish. And here's some more fish. Go up really close to the glass. <laughs> Let's see what else they have here. I had such a great time at the Florida Aquarium. Next time you're in Tampa, Florida, you can go check out some sea life. Whoa! Hey! It's me, Plippy! And today we are at a very fun place, and I am so excited to show you where we're at! <laughs> Look! Today we're at Adventure! in Columbia, South Carolina, and this is a children's museum. <laughs> we are gonna have so much fun! Whoa, look at this place. <laughs> oh, hello. Hi. <laughs> Whoa, this is so cool. Do you know what type of vehicle this is? Yeah, you guessed it. It's a fire truck. Check it out. Wow, this truck is massive. Here's the door, here's a handle. Whoa, hey, hello. <laughs> wow, look how big these hoses are. This one connects the fire truck all the way to this Fire hydrant. Look, could you see the whole thing? Yeah, and that's a really big hose. And then a smaller hose goes from the fire truck to the sprayer. Whoa! Whoa! Yeah! I love putting out fires. <laughs> cool. Do you wanna go explore the fire truck? Yeah! Oh, there's the ladder up there. Do you see it? Yep. So then you can climb really high and save people from the fires. Okay. Wow. So cool. Look. You can even dress like a fire person. Firefighter. Okay. Firefighter Blippy to the rescue. <laughs> oh, let's. Whoa. Looks like we're on a call. But look down here. Here's some more cool things. Looks like an ax, a pick, an extra hose. Oh, a fire extinguisher. Ooh, and a breathing apparatus. Let's go inside the fire truck now. <laughs> okay, let's check out the inside where you drive the fire truck. Oh, hello, firefighters. <laughs> Whoa, we're inside the fire truck now. A couple seats facing backwards. Then, a couple seats facing forward. Whoa, here we go. Oh, push the lights on. Whoa, yeah. Whoa. We're gonna go put out some fires. Yeah! Hey! <laughs> These blocks are colorful! Whoa! <laughs> oh, that's so much fun! Hello, everyone! Today on television, we are at the news station. And there is a lot of great news happening today at this children's museum. Do you want to know what it is? Yeah, we are learning so much. And at this location, we're learning about all types of news equipment, like this. This is a giant camera. Yeah, a camcorder. It shoots videos. Watch, I'll go stand over here and then the camera points at me while I'm typing on my computer. <laughs> and look! Hello! Hey! Today we're having a great time! Oh, that's 
so cool being a news anchor and how the operators control the camera and the lights and the sound is from this. This is a giant control board, like mission control. Whoa, so many buttons. Oh, and check out these columns of buttons. This column is the color green. This column is the color yellow. This color is the color blue. And this color, what color is that? Yeah, the color red. Whoa, woohoo! I bet you didn't recognize me with my veterinarian coat on. <laughs> I'm taking care of some animals. Come on in. Look. Oh, hey puppies. There's a puppy right there. Oh, a cute little kitty. Meow, meow. Oh, whoa. This is Lizzie the lizard. <laughs> so cute. Veterinarians take care of animals when they're sick. Yeah, like this little puppy right here. This is Roger. <laughs> I like Roger. He's a very sweet pup. But we need to check up on him. So let's go over here. Let's uh, put him right here. Okay. Stay there, Roger. I'm gonna go grab all of my tools. Whoa, look, a stethoscope, thing to look inside his ears, a thermometer. Yeah, so let's just check his heartbeat. Ready? Yeah, that sounds great. Good job, Roger. Okay. Now the last thing we have to do before we put on this neck thing for him, we have to check his x-rays. Wow, look, do you see that white area? Those are his bones. There's his spine right there. Looks like all of his bones are good. So let's go back to Roger. Let's give him a little pet, give him a comfort. Oh, Roger, <laughs> you're so cute. <laughs> Okay, Roger, what I'm gonna do is put this around your neck, okay? Okay, here you go. So this, make sure that Roger doesn't bite himself down here. Just like how you itch right here, dogs like to bite themselves. <laughs> but nice and gently. Yeah, now he can't go over there and bite himself because what actually Roger's problem was he had fleas. <laughs> That's okay, Roger. We'll get you all fixed up. Okay, Roger. Okay. See you soon. <laughs> Good job. room is so cool. It has putt putt golf. It has a game of chess over here. Connect four. Whoa, and a spaceship. First, let's play putt putt golf. Woo! I got my putter and my golf ball. My green golf ball. 
Okay, let's go right over here. Okay, the goal of golf is to put the ball on the green, just like this, and you hit it and try and make it go all the way into the hole in the least amount of strokes as possible. So, let's count them together. Ready? Oh! <laughs> That's one! Yeah! Oh, so close! <laughs> That's two! Yeah! Three strokes! Good job! Okay, what else is around here? This game is really tough. And these are called pawns. This is the king. Yep, the king. <laughs> and this, where's the queen? Um, right over here. This is the queen. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Tic-tac-toe. Do you know this game? You need to get three in a row. Ready? X, X, O, oh. Aww. <laughs> oh, I know, O, 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 yeah, good job. Oh. In another game where you do four things all together. Oh. <laughs> That's silly. <laughs> is connect four. Okay, do you see an area where we can just put one circle to make four? <gasps> yeah, right here. One, two, three. So, let's take either a red one or a black one and make it four. What one do we take? Yeah, a red one, ready? Yeah, we did it, good job. <laughs> I love playing games with you, it's so much fun. Whoa, and look at this. This room also has a giant spacecraft. Yeah, this space shuttle is awesome. We can fly to outer space together. Let's go, come on. Whoa. Okay. Yep. Let's fly. Should we go to the Earth? <laughs> We're already there. Do we go to orbit or the moon? Yeah! Let's go to the moon! Oh, Houston! Yep, we're in the air! <laughs> awesome! Good job! Woohoo! This is awesome! <laughs> is Eddie. Whoa, and Eddie is so big. Eddie is the world's largest kid. <laughs> he's 10 years old and he's 40 feet tall. Wow, that's really tall. Let's go and explore Eddie. When you go and explore Eddie, you can see his insides, he's so big. Whoa, look at this. This is a shoe. And look, it's a shoelace. <laughs> Whoa, his foot is massive. Look, this is my shoe. <laughs> it's a lot smaller than Eddie's. <laughs> okay. Whoa. Jeez. Here, Eddie is so big that I'm going to go inside. But you go up here, and then you can see me go inside, okay? Whoa! Hey! I just climbed up from the bottom! Whoa! And we are inside Eddie! Wow! Look at this! 
Whoa, is this his stomach? Whoa, yeah, it's his stomach. Whoa, Whee! <laughs> Whoa. it's so cool to see inside of Eddie. He is so big. His stomach is bigger than me. But my stomach, yeah, it's probably about this size. <laughs> Pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna keep going up. Whoa, <laughs> I'm going up the spine right now. Whoa, <laughs> I climbed up Eddie's spine. Whoa, and where are we now? So, we were about right here in the stomach area, but now we're right here. What's right here that beats all the time? Yeah, your heart. Whoa, check this out. Wow, this is Eddie's heart. Wow, it's so big. <laughs> so cool to see inside his body. His heart is a lot bigger than your and mine. Ours is about this size. Yeah, right there. <laughs> this size. But his is this size. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to keep going up his spine to somewhere else. You'll see soon. I just climbed up all the way from the bottom to the top of Eddie. And look, my head and face is at the top. Oh, and look. Whoa. Check it out. Do you see this? This is Eddie's face. Wow. See his two eyes? One, two, and his teeth right here. Wow, this is so cool. <laughs> it's like we're food. Um, um, um. Whoa. And can you look up here? Wow. This is Eddie's brain. Wow, that's where he thinks a lot. Just like you and me. When we learn things, we use our brain. Good job. Whoa. Eddie is really big. <laughs> and I am really small compared to Eddie. Whoa! Whoa! Do you see this? Whoa! This is an airplane simulation. Whoa! It's like I'm actually flying an airplane. Whoa! And check it out. There's two more right here. You can fly airplanes in these simulations. Hmm, I wish I could fly an airplane like a real cockpit. <gasps> Look, there's a real airplane cockpit. Whoa, this is so cool. There's a lot of fuses up here. Yep, they feel all really good. And down here, we have the yoke and some pedals. Whoa, there's so many cool gauges and instruments here. Whoa! <laughs> Whee! <laughs> this is awesome! Wow, but now I think it's time for me to be a passenger. <laughs> okay. Whoa, check this out. There's a lot of seats. All right, take your seat. Let's take a seat right here. <laughs> Gotta buckle up. Oh, here we go. You have to be safe when you're flying in an airplane. Uh, whoa. <laughs> this is nice. This is actually a 757. Whoa. <laughs> I like this. This is fun riding in an airplane. Okay, I guess we landed. All right, now we're here. Now let's go learn some more. I'm just reading a book. <laughs> hey, I'm just making some tasty food. <laughs> Yum. Hmm. Hmm. 
Mmm, that's tasty. I'm at a restaurant. Yeah, helping all my customers eat some food. Have you ever wondered where the food comes from at a restaurant like this? Yeah, I'll show you. Come on. This is a grocery store. And restaurants sometimes get their food from a grocery store. Look, like some carrots, some tomatoes, Whoa. and even pieces of corn. Do you know how many of the pieces of corn there are? One, two, three. Yeah, three pieces of corn. Whoa, and look over here. Whoa, that's a lot of meat in this section. Yeah, like a fish. <laughs> okay, let's go over here. Let's grab a shopping cart. Let's grab some milk. And you saw me using ketchup and mustard over there. Yeah, we got some of those. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Whee. <laughs> hey, in another place that restaurants get all of their food from, yeah, is the farm, directly from the farm. So let's go over there, come on. Do you see this area? That tractor. Yeah, tractors are on farms. Whoa, this is so cool. Yeah. <laughs> and tractors plow a bunch of, bunch of the land. Then you have to water the soil. Yeah, like over here, come on. Whoa, check it out. Let me pull this up. Whoa, I just picked the beat. Hey, look. Oh. Here we go. Let's put this beet right here. Oh, look, another vegetable. Let me just, ah, yum. I love kale. <laughs> I love food that's the color green, like vegetables. So yummy. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> Woo. And over here, this kind of looks like, ah, Collars! Yum! Another yummy food. Let's put it right in there. Okay, now let's go back to the restaurant. Oh, wait a second. Something else I think we need is to go in this factory. Remember, we had some milk in our cart, in the shopping cart? Yeah! Oh, look, a chicken! Hey, chicken! Yeah, they don't produce milk. They produce eggs. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Four eggs. Whoa. Did you hear that? Yeah. It's another chicken. Yeah. Hey, chicken. <laughs> Whoa. And look at this. Whoa. This is where the milk gets bottled. Yeah, that's so cool. They're all spinning around right there, and then it goes through these tubes, and then it goes down into this area, and the raw milk storage. Wow, this is so cool. Gets bottled up, and then goes to the grocery store. Yeah! <laughs> oh, I'm so cold. Look, it's winter here, and there's so much snow. Look over here. Whoa, hello. Hey, that's a polar bear. Polar bears live where there's tons of snow. <laughs> Whoa, check this out. This is a mountain. Whoa, in this mountain, you can sled down it. <laughs> Whoa, can I try? Whoa, thank you. You're so nice for sharing. Okay, here I go. Oh, 
Whoa. All right, someone else's turn. There we go. Ooh, I really love winter time. <laughs> Team Green, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Team Green, here we go. pretty cold. We should probably go into a warmer area of the Children's Museum. <laughs> Let's go! Whoa! Hey! This Children's Museum even has an outdoor section. <gasps> what are these? Whoa! Helmets! You wear a helmet when you do something outside like rollerblading, skateboarding, riding a bike. I wonder what they have here. First, let's put on a helmet. Ooh, I like this one. It's the color green. Ooh, <laughs> oh, might be a little tight. Oh, I think that's okay. <laughs> okay, here we go. Ooh, look, a recycling truck. <laughs> I love recycling trucks. <laughs> yes. A bicycle. Wait a second. Bicycle means two wheels. Bi means two. But this has one, two, three. Three. Yeah. Tri. T R I. Tricycle. Yeah. Here we go. Oh. Oh. It's not working. <laughs> Let's try another tricycle. Okay, here we go. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <Whee! laughs> Whoa! Whoa! That was awesome. Okay, let's put that right there. Perfect. Oh, looks like a lot of water toys over here. Whoa! Whoa! That's awesome. But did you see this over here? Whoa! Do you know what kind of vehicle this is? Yeah! It's an airplane! Wow, look at it. it, has two big wings, and look at this. This is a propeller of the airplane, whoa. It turns around and then creates a lot of thrust. Let's look inside the airplane. Whoa, look, whoa. It's like I'm flying the airplane! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> this is awesome! Whee! Whoa! Let's 
Wow. <laughs> I had a lot of fun at that children's museum. Yeah. Oh, did you love learning with me at Adventures Children's Museum? <laughs> I really love learning with you today. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I, -I, Blippi. Good job. All right, see you again. Bye-bye. And look at where we're at. Yeah, we're at SANCA, which is in Seattle, Washington. And SANCA stands for School of Acrobatics and New Circus Arts. Yeah, have you ever been to a circus before? I love circuses, they are awesome. And today, you and I are gonna learn about some circus art. <laughs> Look at this place, it is so cool. And the floor that we're on is pretty bouncy. Whoa! Okay, the first thing I need to do is take off my shoes. All right, there we go. Let me put them right over here. And now, before we do anything with circus, we need to stretch. All right, oh, whoa. Yeah, it's really important to stretch so then our muscles are nice and loose. So then, we don't injure ourselves. Oh, yeah, there we go. All right, woo. Oh, I stretched out my back, my legs, my arms. Oh, now that I'm all stretched, I think we should learn the rules of the circus. Whoa, check them out. The rules of circus. Yeah, number one, have fun. <laughs> That's pretty easy. We love to have fun. Number two, be safe. Yeah, safety is really important. We definitely don't want to get hurt, do we? No. Number three, work hard. Yeah, I love working hard because it's so fun to start at one point and get to another. And the only way you can improve is working hard. <laughs> and number four, be kind to each other. I love being kind. It's so cool that you are kind to your friends and family. Good job. All right, now it's time for some circus stuff. Woohoo! Woohoo! This is awesome. Hey, check out what I'm on. Woohoo! Yeah! Do you know what this is? Whoa! Yeah, this is a trampoline. Check it out. The bouncy part? Yeah, what color is this? Yeah, this is the color black. Oh, and look at this. A safety pad, just in case if you go off the center and then you don't get hurt. What color is the safety pad? Yeah, it's the color red. <laughs> All right, let me jump. Woohoo! Can you think of an animal that can jump real high? Whoa! Yeah, how about one that carries its babies in a pouch? Yeah, yeah, kangaroo. Boing, boing, boing. Woohoo! What about one that loves to be in the swampy areas and it makes it sound like ribbit, ribbit? Woohoo! Yeah, frog! Yeah! Woohoo! <laughs> yeah! Jumping is so much fun. Whoa, did you see that? That was awesome. <laughs> hey, Bleepy. Hey. How are you doing? Yeah, good. That was awesome. Thank you so much. What's your name? My name is Max. Oh, nice to meet you, Max. Do you know how to jump on the trampoline? I sure do. Will you show us? Yeah. Stay right here. Kneel right here and wait for me. OK. Ready?
These are called aerial silks. Whoa, they're so cool. Yeah, and I am in a green silk, and Max is on a purple silk. It's like I'm in a cocoon. Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> Can you think of an insect that hangs out in a cocoon? Whoa! Yeah. They start as a normal insect, then they go in a cocoon, they go through metamorphosis, and then they turn into a butterfly! Yeah! I'm a caterpillar! Whoa! Look at me! He's the butterfly! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, check it out! This is a tight wire. Yeah, this is where you can practice your balance. Yeah! And balance is really important because, yeah, you might need it for things. If you don't have any balance, you'll just fall over. Whoa! You see what I'm using on my hands? Yeah, these are sticks. Just in case, if I need a little help. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> that was silly. I just fell. Let me try it again. Whoa! <laughs> That's tricky. Wow, look at how good she is. Wow, she is so good. Hey, maybe now we can keep balancing on the balls. Wow, look at all these balls. Yeah, this is another great way to learn how to balance. Whoa, check it out. Look at this ball. <laughs> Whoa, whee. <laughs> yeah, I'm balancing on my stomach. Whoa. <laughs> That's hard. But hey, let's count all these balls. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Do you see how this ball's in a circle? Yeah, this actually will stabilize the ball. So then when I try and stand on it, then it won't move around so much. All right, okay, let's try this. Whoa. I am so excited. Whoa, 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 it's harder than it looks. Whoa, whoa, if this stabilizer ring wasn't here, I probably wouldn't be able to do it. Whoa. Okay, let's see someone good do it. <laughs> this has been so much fun learning about all these things circus related. Whoa, check it out. Wow, looks like we have some really cool things, like rings. Whoa, yeah, they're so colorful. Hello, hey. <laughs> Ooh, looks like we have some really light scarves. Wow, <laughs> and looks like we have this wood stick. Whoa, what is that for? And a plate, yeah, a green plate. I know what to do with this. <laughs> wow. Maybe, maybe I could juggle. Wait, he's not juggling. He's balancing. Let's try it out. Whoa, do you see how he just spun it really fast? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna put it on my fingertip. Whoa, check it out. Whoa! 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 That's awesome! <laughs> All right. 
Get ready for this. I'm gonna put it on my forehead and see if I can balance it. Ready? Whoa! 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 <laughs> that was so silly. Okay, let's see what else we have over here. Yeah! Remember the scarves? What color are these scarves? Yeah, this one is the color pink. This one is the color orange. And this one is the color yellow. And you know what I like to do when I have three items. Yeah, juggle! Whoa! <laughs> Whee! This is so cool! <laughs> yeah! I love juggling. Hey, speaking of juggling, maybe I could take these rings and juggle the rings. <laughs> First, what color are these rings? Yeah, a green circle, an orange circle, a red circle, a yellow circle, and a blue circle. All right. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Woo <-hoo. laughs> That's awesome. All right, let's take three of them. This is gonna be a little bit trickier. Here we go. Woo, how'd I do? <laughs> Whoa. Hey. Yeah. A giant circle. Whoa! Do you know what this is? <laughs> yeah! This is a hula hoop. Whoa! Whoa, check it out! Whoa! Yeah! Woo! Woo! <laughs> oh, and watch this trick. When you spin it backwards, then it'll come back to you. Ready? Wow. Ready? Max is riding a unicycle. Whoa, that is so cool. Yeah, it kind of looks like a bicycle. Yeah, but bi means two. Yeah, two wheels and tires. But unicycle, una means one. Check it out. Whoa, all of these unicycles have one wheel and tire. Whoa! That one, this one, look at this! This frame is the color yellow! Whoa! Wow! Whoa! Look at how small this is! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> they are so hard to ride! Whoa! This one is so tall! Whoa! How do you even get up on this? <laughs> I don't even know! Whoa! <laughs> okay, maybe I should find one that fits me. How about this one? This one looks perfect. All right, let me try and ride this unicycle. Okay, do you see how I have these bars next to me? And so then I can hold on. And when I'm learning, I can learn this way and it'll help me balance. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, I definitely couldn't do this without holding on to these bars. Yeah, unicycles are actually harder to ride than bicycles in my, my opinion. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> whoa. 
Yeah, it's probably because on a bicycle, you don't have to balance forward and backward. You just have to balance side to side. But in unicycle, whoa, whoa. You have to balance forward and backward, whoa. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try it with no hands. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> whoa, I almost fell. Let me try it again. Here I go. Whoa! Wow, look at this place. This is the fly room. Whoa, check it out. See all this? This is their trapeze setup. It is so cool. Trapeze is awesome. It's when people climb really high up in the air and then they swing while holding onto a bar. Sometimes they just fall down to the net and sometimes they grab onto other people. Hey, speaking of the net, check it out. Whoa, that looks like a really soft landing. <laughs> hey, come on. Wow. Hey, who are you? Hi, I'm Caitlin. Oh, nice to meet you, Caitlin. Hey, Caitlin does the trapeze here and she is really good. Will you show us some trapeze? Definitely. <laughs> training with you. Did you have fun? Yeah, I did too. Whoa, uh, 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 whoa, uh. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -I. Blippi. Good job. Uh, uh. Whoa! <laughs> wow! This has been so much fun! Woohoo! Yeah! Really? Whoa! This fire truck is so fast! <laughs> hey! It's me, Blippi! And today, we're here at the Caton Children's Museum in Santa Monica, California. I am so excited because we get to learn about all kinds of things. <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun! Come on! Ring. There are so many fun things to explore. Let's go! Whoa, look at it! You know what it is? It looks like a garden <laughs> that's really fun to play in. Let's go inside. Look, there are so many different blocks and colors. Yeah, we have a blue cube <laughs> and hmm, a red rectangle. Ooh. <laughs> and we have a green cube. Whoa, <laughs> and they're so squishy and soft. Whoa, <laughs> they're so fun to play with. Woo! <laughs> It's a tunnel. I'm gonna go through the tunnel. See you on the other side. Ooh, ooh. That was a really small tunnel. <laughs> hey, do you know what kind of animal this is? <laughs> I'll give you a hint. This animal likes to go moo. <laughs> yeah, this, oh, this is a cow. Hello, <laughs> it's so cute. Whoa, look at what it is. Do you know what that is? 
<laughs> yeah, it's a giant rescue helicopter. <laughs> I think you and I should go inside and check it out. Come on. It's so cool! Whoa! And this is the cockpit! <laughs> yeah! Inside this helicopter, there are all different controls of the helicopter. We have different levers and gears that tell you how fast you're going and if you have enough fuel. Whoa! <laughs> and there's all types of switches on the ceiling. <laughs> Whoa! I wonder what this button does. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! And look, there are also a lot of really colorful lights that tell you what's going on. Yeah, we have a really bright white light and a green light and a red light. <laughs> well, it's time to take off. Okay. That was so much fun riding in this helicopter. <laughs> Let's keep exploring. <gasps> it's a giant fire truck. <laughs> uh oh, but it looks like it's missing part of its wheel. Hello wheel. <laughs> Maybe we can find the other side. <laughs> oh, and there are so many cool levers. Yeah. Vehicles are amazing. Helicopters are kind of like fire trucks because they have different gauges, buttons that help control it and move really fast. <laughs> hey, I love the horn on a fire truck. Let's go inside and see if it works. I'm driving the fire truck. Make sure you buckle up. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Whoa, that horn was really loud. <laughs> Let's see what else there is. Whoa, look at this. It's a rescue boat. This rescue boat is on some really rocky waves. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> it's so much fun. And it's squishy. Whoa, the waves are going so fast and they're so huge. Whoa, <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> the water is nice and cool, yeah. Because it's made out of a ball pit. <laughs> <laughs> this is so amazing. I really am having so much fun playing with you today. Hey, and look at this. It looks kind of like a really big picture frame. Yeah, it's a big square. Hmm. And it has some pulleys and a steering wheel. When I move this steering wheel, Whoa, it moves up and it makes bubbles. <laughs> Let's see, we can make the biggest bubble with this giant bubble blower. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> we did it. That was an amazing bubble, but it popped because that's what bubbles do. They get really big and then pop, <laughs> they pop. <laughs> this is so cool. It looks like mountains and oceans and there's a little shark. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> this shark is having a really fun time going through the ocean. <laughs> It's so fast! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> it did a big jump! 
Whoa. Whoa, and look at this. This is really cool. It's a submarine. <laughs> yeah. And it has its propeller that helps it move really fast underwater. And it looks like it has a scuba diver driving it. <laughs> Whoa, I think it's gonna swim with the shark too. <laughs> Look at this. See, when I press this big button, something really amazing and really wet is going to happen. Are you ready? Keep your eye over here and your eye over here. Here we go. I'm gonna press the button on the count of three. One, two, three. <laughs> Did you see it? Whoa! Now let's press them really fast. Uh-oh, looks like they don't like to be pressed really fast. There are so many cool things to explore with water. There's so many boats. Whoa, look at all of the boats. <laughs> There's so many. Yeah, we have one, two, green boats, and we have one, two, purple boats, and we have, well, we have one, two, three orange boats. <laughs> These are so cool. And if you have an orange boat and a blue boat, you have blippy boats. Woo! <laughs> This is so cool. There's all these different water wheels and water. <laughs> Whoa. And looks like we can take this little island and move it all around. Bye-bye, <laughs> octopus. Hey, do you know what kind of animal this is? <laughs> yeah, this right here is a sea turtle. And it's so cute. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, look, I think I can get on the inside. Hello. Whoa, there's water all around me. <laughs> Woo. This is a really silly crab. There are so many animals. Whoa, but I think there's a really cool wall that we should go explore. <laughs> Let's go see what it is. This is a magnetic wall. Yeah, it's a giant wall that's magnetic, which means squares like this that have little magnets will stick to the wall. So if you take the square and you put it on the wall, no hands, whoa! <laughs> and sometimes the magnets are so strong, you can throw it and it stays by itself. Whoa! And you can make all kinds of cool shapes and pictures. Hmm. So let's see if we can make a picture. Move some of these out of the way. Start with a really big orange square. And we'll put it right there. And next, let's grab two more orange squares. What color should I use next? Hmm, we already used orange, so let's use blue. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna go with one, two blue triangles. And let's grab two blue squares. And hmm, we're almost done, but I think we should make two use an orange and we'll use a blue one too. <laughs> yeah, it's a Blippi magnetic castle. King Blippi. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> Whoa, and do you know what this is? Yeah, look at it. This right here, yeah, it's a gear. Whoa, <laughs> look at it go. Yeah. And when you take a gear and you put one gear next to another gear, when you turn this one, 
the other gear will turn too. And now, the really fun part. When you take one gear connected to another gear, you have two gears moving. But if you connect those two gears to the, all the gears, then they all move together. <laughs> Teamwork is really fun, especially if you're a gear. Whoa. <laughs> Are you ready? Let's use a lot of teamwork with the gears. <laughs> Whoa, look at it go. <laughs> They're all moving together, but I'm only touching this one right here. See, they're moving and helping each other out. Whoa, super fast. <laughs> this is so much fun. This place is amazing. Look above us. It looks like there's a tunnel in the ceiling. <laughs> I have had so much fun, but I think you and I should go up into the tunnel. Yeah, okay, here we go. <laughs> Whoa, it's really tricky moving through these nets. <laughs> Hey, I think it looks like there's a window over by the water area. Hey, look, it's a window. <laughs> Hello. And it looks like the water area is a giant spinner. <laughs> Whoa, that's so silly. Huh, yeah, it's so cool because when we were down there, it just looked like some islands, and some oceans and some water. But because we have a different perspective, yeah, a different perspective. That means a different way of seeing it or a different way of looking at it. Yeah, we see with our different perspective that it actually is a giant spinner. <laughs> Whoa, this is so cool. It's so wobbly. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> so silly. Wow, we crossed over the yellow bridge. And now we're all the way on the other side. Okay. This is so cool. It's a giant purple triangle. <laughs> yeah, because look, the triangle has three sides. One, two, three. <laughs> oh, look over here. Hello, I'm Blippi. What's your name? Oh, hi there, Blippi. Uh, my name is the amazing Andres. Ooh, nice to meet you, Andres. <laughs> Whoa, are you juggling? Oh yeah, I am juggling all right. Andres is really good at juggling. <laughs> <laughs> You're too kind, Flippy. You know, it's actually not that hard to juggle three balls. It just takes a lot of practice. Ooh, you know, practice. <laughs> great things start off with one ball, okay. like so. See, catching it good. And then, when I'm ready, I'll go two. Huh. And Whoa. then, when I feel really good, I'll throw in a third ball. Whoa. There we go. <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> Well, Andres, that is so cool. But what else do you do here? Oh, I do all kinds of fun stuff. I get to spend most of my time coming up with really cool ways for people to have fun here at this museum. <laughs> well, that's really good because <laughs> we want to have lots of fun too. Hmm. <laughs> well, is there anything fun that we could do? You know, I got something perfect for you. Ooh. You like to make art? <laughs> yeah, I love making art. Hey, maybe we could make an art project. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> Got just the thing. Come over here, we'll go to the art crawl room. Okay. You're gonna wanna step in here first. Thank you, Andres. All right. All right, here we go. <laughs> Whoa, look at where I am. We're inside of an art studio. Whoa. This place is so cool. Look at all the things that are here. We have all kinds of different paint. 
where we can paint really beautiful pictures and make really cool artwork. Hmm. We have some pink paint and a lot of colors actually. Some black paint. Ooh. <laughs> and hmm, we have some green. Ooh. And it's got some confetti in it. Whoa. <laughs> and it looks like we have a lot of other colors. Hmm. We have, oh, this paint is gold and it's really shiny. <laughs> Maybe we can think of something really beautiful to paint with this gold paint. Hmm. But first, we need something to use as a paintbrush. Hmm. Oh, hey, look. <laughs> have a brush and some paint and now we just need to think about what should we paint well you can start with something really easy maybe make a gold smiley face <laughs> one eye two eyes and a really big smile <laughs> whoa <laughs> He's so happy. Since we can paint all over this room, let's see how much we can cover and paint. Okay, I'm gonna paint all over the room. It's gonna be so fun. Okay, I think I'm gonna need two rollers and a lot of paint. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, now let's do it with some pink paint. Okay. Painting is so fun. <laughs> Especially when you can paint all over the place. <laughs> and get a little messy. But just make sure when you're painting, it's paper you're painting on and not the actual walls. <laughs> yeah, I like to paint on the paper, but not on the actual wall. <laughs> This was so much fun painting with you. <laughs> hey, that was so much fun playing with you here at the Caton Children's Museum in Santa Monica, California. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, can you spell my name with me? Okay, here we go. B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Flippy. Good job. Well, I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye. So much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout. Flippy. <laughs> hey, it's me, Flippy. And I have a really cool fire truck here. <laughs> It looks just like a real life fire truck with a hose and horns, honk, 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 <laughs> and some really big wheels and tires. <laughs> I think it would be so cool to be a real life firefighter. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, look at it. It's a real life firefighter pole. Ooh. <laughs> hey. Let's slide down to the bottom. Okay, let's do it on the count of three. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> Whoa, I'm a little bit dizzy after that. <laughs> oh, look at it, it's a firefighter. Hello. <laughs> I think it's a really important job to be a firefighter because they help save people's lives and put out fires with a really big water hose. <laughs> hey, look, that's another job you could be. You could be a pilot. Yeah, and fly really big airplanes. <laughs> hey, you could also be an engineer. Ooh, well, what does an engineer do? They're really good at math. Yeah, like adding up numbers and subtracting numbers. Whew and they plan all types of things so that other people can build them. 
<laughs> That's so silly. <laughs> hey, what do you want to be when you grow up? <laughs> that sounds really cool. I want to be that too. <laughs> hey, I have a really cool idea. How about you and I go to this place where we can pretend to do all kinds of different jobs? Oh, that would be so exciting and fun. And then you can pick your favorite job. <laughs> okay, will you go with me today? <laughs> yeah! Come on, let's go! I'll see you there! <laughs> hey! We made it to Great Explorations Children's Museum in St. Petersburg, Florida! <laughs> yeah! And I am so excited to learn all about jobs! Let's go! Woohoo! This is one of my favorite places. This is a pizza oven inside of a pizza restaurant. Ooh. One job that you can have when you grow up is to be a chef. Ooh. Chefs are so cool. <laughs> yeah, chefs are in charge of cooking all of the food at a restaurant. And I really like cooking pizza. <sighs> it's so tasty. <laughs> hey. I have an idea. How about you and I make a pizza together? <laughs> okay, here we go. First, we need one of these pizza paddles to put the pizza in the really hot oven because we don't want to touch it with our hands. <laughs> okay, we'll get that and we'll get a metal plate. Hmm, so first things first, we need to start with the pizza dough. <laughs> yeah, we'll get the pizza dough right here. Ooh. And sometimes when you get the pizza dough, it's crumpled up into a little ball. So you have to stretch it. And sometimes spin it. Whoa! <laughs> like this. And that helps to make it look like a circle. Yeah, look. It's a circle. <laughs> Good job. Okay. Put the pizza dough down. And now we get to put on some yummy toppings. <laughs> hey, do you have a favorite pizza topping? Uh, I like that one too. Okay, let's get started. Okay, we'll put on some tomato sauce. Oh, and my favorite cheese. Oh, I love pizza with lots of cheese. Okay, we'll put the cheese there. And now we can put all the toppings. We have some spinach. Ooh, so tasty. And we have black olives. Whoa, and they're all sliced up. Yeah, put those there. We have, whoa. Woo! Do you know what these are? Yeah, these are mushrooms. We'll put these on too. We'll put on some onions. Ooh. <laughs> and then once you get your pizza made, then put it into the oven. You'll wait. And it looks like our pizza is delicious and all done. Yeah! <laughs> and now we get to go put it in a box. Come on! <laughs> yeah! Whoa, you did a really good job making a pizza with me. And now, it's my favorite part. <gasps> we get to eat the pizza! <gasps> mm, this pizza is really tasty. Mm -hmm. And that's because you helped me make it. Aw, <laughs> thanks so much! Wow, that was so cool learning about being a chef. And making a lot of yummy pizza. <laughs> yeah! Whoa, look over here. Whoa, there are so many different types of animals. I love animals. Hey, do you have a favorite kind of animal? <laughs> yeah, I like that animal too. Whoa, look, we have some kitty cats and we have Hmm, this looks like a really big puppy dog. Hello, puppy dog. <laughs> so silly. Whoa, look, we have a really colorful parrot and a bunny rabbit. <laughs> yeah, let's go get a closer look. Come on. Whoa, look at this place. This place is a veterinarian's office. Yeah, a veterinarian or a vet. 
And that's a person that takes care of hurt or sick animals. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, look, we have some really cute animals here. Hello. <laughs> ah, this is such a cute puppy, but we want to make sure that this puppy is okay. So the first thing you can do is take it to get an MRI. Yeah, an MRI. It's basically a scanner that uses magnets to take pictures of this puppy, but not pictures on the outside where it's smiling. <laughs> pictures of all the stuff inside, like its bones, to make sure they're not broken, and this puppy is doing really okay. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, puppy. Whoa, look at it. The MRI is showing the inside of this puppy's leg. Whoa, that's pretty cool. <laughs> well, this puppy seems to be pretty okay, but it looks like it hurt its leg. So we're gonna take care of it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we go. The first thing we wanna do is put a bandage on its leg. So I'll use some dots. Oh, look, <laughs> we did it. We bandaged up this puppy. He's gonna be all better real soon. And the next thing we wanna do is give this puppy some medicine. Here you go, puppy. Up, up. <laughs> He's happy and feeling better already. <laughs> yeah. And the last thing we wanna do is we wanna put this cone around its head because sometimes puppies get really playful and they take off their bandages. We don't wanna take it off until he's all better. <laughs> he is so cute. <laughs> yeah. I love being a veterinarian. Being a vet with you was really fun because we got to learn about animals and take care of them if they get sick or hurt. <laughs> Whoa, this was awesome! Whoa, look at what it is! It's a fire truck! <laughs> yeah! Whoa, fire trucks are so cool! And look at this! It has really big wheels and tires! Whoa! <laughs> and really bright headlights and a metal bumper. <laughs> I bet it would be really fun to ride in one of these. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> wow, it is so much fun riding in a fire truck. And look up here. Yeah, this right here is the firefighter's siren. And it goes like this. Yeah. When a firefighter has to go and help people from a fire, they turn this on and they honk their horns. And that lets everyone know in the area that there's an emergency and they should move off the street. Yeah, so they can get there nice and quick and safely. <laughs> Whoa, and look at this. This is a very important part of a fire truck. This is the fire ladder and it's really helpful for helping firefighters get up to really high buildings to save people and to use their hose to put out the fires. Oh look, and these are the valves where you hook up the hose. But this is a really big fire hose. It's not like a regular hose you might have in your yard. It's really, really, really powerful to push out the fires and make everyone safe. <laughs> yeah, come on. Look at this, this is the fire pole. Whoa, the fire pole is really helpful because in a firehouse, the firefighters, they live up on the second floor and the fire truck is on the first floor. So the pole helps them not have to take the stairs. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, and do you see this? Yeah, this is a firefighter's uniform. It is so cool because it's fireproof. Yeah, if you or I were in a fire, that would be really dangerous because our clothes are flammable. They can catch on fire, but not a firefighter. They can go and save you because they're fireproof. Whoa, did you see the helmet? Yeah, look at this. This firefighter has a really cool yellow helmet and that protects their head from anything that might fall on it. Ooh, whoa, did you see this? <laughs> yeah. This is the really powerful fire hose. Whoa, this is so cool. There are so many different uh, 
adjustment valves, and look, it's really, really big, so that it can have a very powerful spray to put out all the fires. <laughs> yeah! Wow, maybe one day you and I can be firefighters too. We can help save people, but to be a firefighter, you have to be really, really brave. Yeah, brave. Hey, do you know what being brave means? Yeah, when you're brave, that means you might be scared of something, but you do it anyway because you're gonna help, help people and keep them safe. <laughs> well, I really wanna do a job that will help people too. <laughs> yeah, that would be awesome. Woo! <laughs> Whoa, look at where we are. Yeah, a job that you can do when you grow up is being a nurse. <laughs> yeah, being a nurse is a really great job because you help take care of others and make sure they get better when they might be sick. <laughs> Let's go see everything that a nurse does. Yeah. Whoa, look at this. Do you see it? This right here is a skeleton. Whoa, <laughs> there are so many bones. Yeah, bones. Do you know what a bone is? Yeah, these are different types of bones. And a bone is what helps make you up. Yeah, helps you stand nice and tall. Ooh, yeah, it's right under your skin. Bones are really important and it's important to take care of your bones. Well, it's really good to learn about bones because if you ever break a bone, you can go to a nurse and they can help you. Come on. <sighs> Look at this box. It's really bright. Ah! <laughs> this will help us look at different kinds of x-rays. Yeah. Whoa, this right here, this is an x-ray. And it kind of just looks like a dark sheet. <laughs> but it actually is a picture of the inside of your hand. So when you put it up here, you can read the x-ray. Yeah, you can see all the different bones inside your hand. Whoa, and this is really helpful to take a picture, an x-ray of your hand, because if you break a bone, the nurse can say, hmm, you broke this bone and now we can fix it. Okay. <laughs> wow, x-rays and nurses are pretty amazing. Whoa, and look at this over here. Another thing you do when you go see a nurse is you see how tall you are. Whoa, look, I'm five feet and 11 inches tall. That's pretty tall. <laughs> hey, do you know how tall you are? Whoa, <laughs> that's pretty tall too. And I bet when you grow up, you'll be even taller. Maybe five foot 11 or six foot or six foot one inch or seven feet tall. Whoa, that's really tall. <laughs> Being a nurse is an amazing job. Maybe one day I'll be a nurse when I grow up and I can help make people feel better. <laughs> yeah. Well, this was really exciting. Hey, I'll see you in just one second. Woo. Hey, <laughs> whoa, that was so much fun learning about all those different types of jobs. <laughs> there were a lot of them, whoa. <laughs> Hey, which one was your favorite job? <laughs> yeah, I like that one a lot too. It was really fun doing that with you. <laughs> Whoa, look at this over here. Come on. Whoa, <laughs> do you see what it says? Curiosity Corner. Whoa. That means it's time for the Curiosity Corner, where you and I get to learn all types of things. <laughs> hmm, but I wonder what we're gonna learn today. I guess you and I are just gonna have to find out. I'm so excited. Let's go. <laughs> hey, welcome to the Curiosity Corner, where we get to paint a really beautiful picture together. <laughs> and it looks like we have everything we need. We have our paints, ooh, <laughs> look, we have three different colors. Blue, yellow, and red. <laughs> These colors are really important because they're primary colors. And primary colors are used to mix, get mixed up and make every other color in the rainbow. So we're gonna use these to paint a beautiful picture. Well, we're gonna need our palette with paints 
and a paintbrush. Okay, so let's wet our brush first. Then we get the paint. Okay, so first we want to make a really cool orange because it's my favorite fruit and favorite color. So we'll start with some yellow. Whoa, <laughs> it's so fun to mix up the paints. We're gonna make a circle. <laughs> Whoa, look, we made a yellow circle, but it's not quite the right color. So now we're gonna add another primary color, red. Just a little bit of red, and a little bit of water, and then we can mix it up to make an orange. Whoa, look at how pretty that color is. It has little bits of red, and little bits of yellow, and a lot of bit of orange. <laughs> Whoa, that was so much fun learning about colors with you and painting a really pretty picture. It's time for me to go wash out my brush. <laughs> Oops, looks like we got some traffic here. <laughs> Whoa! That was so much fun learning about all those different kinds of jobs with you. <laughs> Whoa, there were so many different kinds. <laughs> well, even if you didn't pick your favorite today, that's okay. You have all the time in the world. <laughs> Just keep on exploring and being curious, and I'm sure you'll find what you will want to do when you grow up. <laughs> well, I'm having a lot of fun with these trucks. <laughs> this fire truck and recycling truck, whoa, and this construction vehicle with an excavator arm. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I. Flippy. Good job. <laughs> well, I'll see you soon. <laughs>
A, B, C. Yeah, C is the next letter. Ah, wow. Hey, I'm acting like a cat right now. Meow. Yeah. Meow. Yeah. Cat also starts with the letter C. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, look at this area over here. This looks like a dodgeball area. Whoa. Looks like I have a couple opponents in the dodgeball area. Dodgeball starts with the letter D. Dodgeball is a really fun game. Oh, whoa, how are you throw these balls at people? Oh, okay, here we go. It's on. <laughs> Looks like they are double teaming me. Whoa, double team starts with the letter D. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Here's some more balls for you. I'm dodging these balls. Oh. Whoa. Let's get out of here. Wow. So far, we learned the letters A, B, C, and D. Those are the first four letters of the alphabet. Woohoo! just acting like an eagle. Eagle starts with the letter E. Go! 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 <laughs> Can you think of another animal that starts with the letter E? Hmm. Oh, I can. One that's really big. It's gray, has a trunk and tusks. <laughs> Elephant. Elephant also starts with the letter E. Whoa! <laughs> this trampoline park is so much fun! Woohoo! Hey, that's our next letter! F! Yeah, fun starts with the letter F! <laughs> Whoa! Alright, let me fall into this foam pit. Foam and fall, both start with the letter F. Whoa! <laughs> oh, that was fun. Whoa. All right, I'm gonna go over here to this rock wall. Hey, check this out. Here's a rock wall right here. I'm gonna use my hands and fingers to grip these rocks. Hey, grip. Starts with the letter G. Whoa! <laughs> Wee! It's like I'm a gorilla. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> That's fun. I love acting like an animal. Hey, speaking of an animal, gorillas like to hang. Yeah, hang. I'm hanging. Hanging starts with the letter H. <laughs> that has been so much fun learning all these letters with you. Hey, hey, look at this. This looks like a hand. Whoa. Yeah, hand. Hand also starts with the letter H. This has been so much fun learning all of these letters with you. Hey, let's recap so far. So far, we have learned A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and H. <laughs> okay, what's the next letter? I. Yeah, I love this place. <laughs> Woohoo! I. <gasps> Whew. It's getting really hot though. Oh, I wish I had some ice cubes. Yeah, those would cool me down. Or an igloo. 
J is for jump. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah! All right. Oh. Whoa. Hey, another word that starts with the letter J is juggle. Might be hard with these cubes, but I'll try. Whoa! <laughs> that was awesome. Hey, let's continue on. I'm acting like an animal. Can you tell what animal I'm acting like? <laughs> I'm acting like a kangaroo. Kangaroo starts with the letter K. <laughs> Whoa, and check this out. It's like I'm flying a kite. Yeah. Kite also starts with the letter K. And another word, kick. Oh! <laughs> I'm kicking these foam cubes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, wait a second. The next letter really summarizes what I think of this place. L. I love this place. <laughs> It makes me so happy being here. Whoa! Do you love something? Maybe you love your sibling. Maybe you love vegetables. Maybe you love your parents. Maybe you even love ice cream. This has been so much fun learning the alphabet with you. Okay, let's recap. A. B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L. And the next letter is M. Let's hit that music. <laughs> I love music. It makes me want to move. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whee! Hey, I want to talk to you about something really serious. The grown-ups that you know told me something about you. They said that you are really nice. Yeah, that's the next letter. I am so proud of you for being nice to your family and friends. Yeah, good job being nice. All right, now it's time for me to jump. Woohoo! <laughs> Whoa! 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 <laughs> oh, no, I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm not able to get out of here. Oh no! No! <laughs> oh, all right, there we go. I got it. Oh, oh! I bet if I was an octopus, I would be able to get out of there really quick because they have eight long arms or tentacles. Whoa! Whoa! Octopus starts with the letter O. Have you ever had an olive before? <laughs> yeah, there's black olives and green olives. An olive starts with the letter O. Polly want a cracker? Polly want a cracker? Polly want a cracker? Polly want a cracker? Flippy, flippy. <laughs> yeah, I'm a parrot. Yeah, parrot. Starts with the letter P. Woohoo! Hey, I just want to say thank you for being positive. Being positive is really important for our Earth. Yeah, it's really nice hanging out with positive people like you. Positive and people both start with the letter P. Whoa!
Whoa! Speaking of birds, one of my favorite kind of birds has a little thing on top. Yeah, looks like this. <laughs> Do you know what kind of bird that is? Yeah, it's a quail. Quail. Oh, they are so cute. And they actually make quiet noises. Yeah! <laughs> I'm gonna run around like a quail. Whoa! I just ran up to you really quickly. Hey, quickly starts with the letter Q. <laughs> yeah! Q is such a cute letter. <laughs> okay, let's recap all the letters that we've learned so far. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q. Yeah, those are all the letters. And we just recapped. <gasps> Recap. Recap starts with the letter R. Yeah, that's the next letter. R. Hey, and what is this? Whoa, this looks like a ramp. Check it out. Ramp starts with the letter R. Whoa, come on up. Wow. <laughs> hey, remember this area? Yeah, we had some red pieces of foam and red starts with the letter R. And, whoa, rope, whoa, whoa, wee, <laughs> whoa, whoa, that's awesome. Rope, red, and ramp all start with the letter R. Come over here. Whoa, check this out. Do you see what it is over there? This looks like a swing. Yeah, swing starts with the letter S. And that is the next letter of the alphabet. Okay, let me sit down on this swing. Yeah, sit. <laughs> All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Whoa! <laughs> Check this out. This is a trampoline. Hey, trampoline. That's our next letter. The letter T. T is for trampoline. I'm acting like the letter T right now. <laughs> my arms are the top of the T. My legs are the bottom of the T. <laughs> oh, that's silly. <laughs> Can you tell what kind of dinosaur I'm acting like? A T. <laughs> I love T-Rexes. Oh, I am getting very tired. I should probably lay down. I am so tired. Tired starts with the letter T. Oh, okay, I think it's time to keep playing. <laughs> I'm acting like a unicorn. Whee! Flying in the air. Woohoo! Yeah! Yay! I'm a unicorn. Unicorn starts with the letter U. I think we should recap again. 
We've learned A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U. Yeah, good job. All right, we are almost done. Okay, the next letter is the letter V. Do you hear that? That's the sound of a violin. Yeah, violin starts with the letter V. And violins are an instrument. Wow, such beautiful sound that is. <laughs> That's not a beautiful sound. That's the sound of a vulture. <laughs> vulture also starts with the letter V. Okay, I'll fly in the air like a vulture. Yeah, V is such a really cool letter. Hey, look how I'm walking. Yeah, walk. Walk starts with the letter W. I'm walking backwards. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Whistle! Whistle starts with the letter W! Did you hear that? Yeah! Did you hear that? My whistle? You heard my whistle? <laughs> I'm whispering now. Well, not now, <laughs> but right there, that was a whisper! And whisper starts with the letter W! Haha, <laughs> xylophone is another instrument. The xylophone starts with the letter X. Yeah. Hey, it has been so much fun playing at this trampoline park today. And good thing we have been very safe because if you break a bone, you have to get an X-ray. Have you ever had an X-ray before? Ooh. Well, X-ray starts with the letter X. <laughs> Did you hear me yell at you from way over there? Yell starts with the letter Y. And hey, check out this cube. Yeah, this is a yellow cube. Yeah, yellow starts with the letter Y. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> Woohoo! Now I'm acting like a zebra. Zebras are black and white, and they start with the letter Z. Yeah, Z. That's the last letter of the alphabet. Woohoo! Another word that starts with the letter Z is zip. Zip means to go so fast. Watch this. Did you see how I just zipped all the way down there and zipped all the way back? <laughs> wow, this has been so much fun learning the alphabet with you. Well, I think we should say every letter of the alphabet. Ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Good job. That was so much fun learning all the letters with you. Well, 
This is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I, Blippi. And now you definitely know those letters. All right, see you again, Bye bye Oh, hello, hey, it's me, Blippi, and today, we're at the Hands-On Children's Museum in Olympia, Washington. This is gonna be so much fun. I love learning with you. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, hey, this is the Build-A Gallery. This is where you get to build things. Oh, <laughs> silly me. <laughs> Anywho, you put things together, these pieces of wood, and then that is how you build things in the Build-A Gallery. Yeah, I almost completed this house. Do you see it? I have a roof right here, and the framing of the house, and the walls, and everything, except for the remaining roof and some gravel. That's what we need, gravel, to go inside the house. Yeah, the floor needs some gravel. Yeah, we're not gonna use carpet, tile, Anything like that, we're gonna use gravel. So let's take this shovel. Yep. And uh, first, let's drive the dump truck. <laughs> all right, I think we're close enough to the job site that we can get all the gravel out of the back of the dump truck. All right, okay, let's take the shovel, put it in the wheelbarrow, and then. Wheel it up. Ah. Ah. There we go. Oh. All right. Now we need to shovel some of these big rocks. Ah. This is some big rocks that's going to make some for some really good flooring in our house. Ah. Okay, one more scoop. Uh, uh, there we go. All right, now we need to take it over to the house. Uh, all right. Ooh, wheelbarrows are super nice to use. It makes hauling things a lot easier. Uh, how are we going to get it in there? Wait a second, I have an idea. Maybe we can use one of these boards that actually should go on the roof. But for now, let's lean it up like this. And then, let's take this wheelbarrow, go up, uh, and let's dump it in, ready? Here we go. <laughs> okay, you see the floor in here? It's nice stone floor now. Perfect. All right, now we can put the rest of the roof on. Yeah, just like that. Oh, hard day's work right here. Ugh. There we go. That looks like a great house. <laughs> oh, I'm tired. Hey, but before we go to another room, I think we should check out the rest of the tools like this. Yeah, there's a lot of tools in here. You know what tool this is? This is a jackhammer. Watch how it works. Whoa! It goes up and down super fast and breaks the ground up. Whoa, and look at all of these. Looks like we have a tape measure, so then we can measure things. Ooh, looks like we have a cordless drill. So then we don't have to go really slow with our hand. This just goes wee, wee, wee. <laughs> Ooh, and a big mallet. Yeah, they're kind of like a hammer, but with bigger heads on it. And check this out, an air framing nailer. This is what you use to secure the roof. Yeah, with nails.
Hey, I was just acting like a bear in hibernation. <laughs> Bears love to hibernate during winter time. <laughs> Keeps them nice and warm under snow. Oh, speaking of snow, check it out. This is an ice rink. Yeah, when water freezes, it turns into ice. And I think you and I should go skating. Oh, but first, we need to pick out some socks. Hmm, let's see. Which socks? Hmm. Oh, these look nice. Oh, wait a second. I don't think these are gonna fit. <laughs> so let's put those back. And how about, uh, these look pretty cool. All right. Okay, let's take off my shoes. Yeah, I already have socks on, but that's okay. These are really cool. And I'm gonna put them on the outside of my feet. Are you ready? Ha <laughs> ha! Three, two, one! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! It's so slippery! Whoa! Ice is so slippery! Whoa! <laughs> Remember earlier how I said this is ice? It's actually practice ice for the sport of sock skating. <laughs> hey, I have an idea. Why don't I do a dance for you? A figure skating routine. Are you ready? Hit the music. Okay, let's go downstairs now. Wait a second. The cool thing about this children's museum is you can go downstairs with the stairs as well as the slide. Yeah, I'm gonna go down the blue slide. Ready? See you down there. smoke on the inside. Whoa! <laughs> oh, now I'm all wet. Whoa, look at these two tubes. They have smoke coming out. <laughs> oh. 
check this out. Whoa. When you add these pipes, you can direct where the smoke goes. Whoa, that's so cool. Oh, check this out. What is this? It looks like a water tornado. Its name is the volcano. Oh, so cool. Hey, speaking of balls, whoa, we have one ball, two balls. Where are you? Three balls, four balls. Okay, now just three balls. Let's get one more ball. Oh, oh. Four balls. Okay, let's go over here. Whoa. And this hole is where you put the balls. One yellow ball. One pink ball. One red ball. One purple ball. Whoa. Where did they go? I don't know. Check this out. Three, two, one. Whoa! Yeah! We did it! Wait a second, that was five balls! What? Oh, yeah! Whoa, check it out! I'm driving this police car! Yep, we have the steering wheel. Whoa! And we have the siren. And you can't forget about the lights! Whoa! It's so loud in here! Whoa! Alright! Whoa! Oh, I sure do love police cars. And I also love fire trucks! Whoa. Fire trucks are great because they go to houses and buildings and pieces of land with fires and put them out. Whoa. Hey, yeah, look, you can sit inside this fire truck. Whoa. Do you hear the siren? Whoa. Whoa, and I just turned on the lights. Whoa. I love fire trucks. Most of them are the color red. Hey, speaking of red, look, this is an ambulance. Whoa. Oh, the back is a big cube. Hey, yeah, check it out. Come on. Whoa, let's go for a ride. <laughs> Ambulances are great because they show up if anyone needs any help. Yeah, with their health problems. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Okay, and I think the front also has some lights and some siren. Whoa, move right around here and let's drive the ambulance. What is your location? Oh, my location? My location is at the Children's Museum. Whoa, and we got the lights. Let's go! Whoa! Let's go save some people! Whoa! Okay, and there's actually another emergency vehicle way up top. Do you see it? It's really high in the sky. Let's go get it! Yeah, it's not an airplane, but it's kind of like an airplane because it flies in the air. But it has rotors, not jets and propellers. Well, some of them have jets. But anywho, this is a helicopter! Whoa, let me fly the helicopter. Whoa. Whoa. All right. Whoa. Here we go. Yeah, even helicopters can save people. Yeah, they're emergency vehicles. And they even can put out fires. There's so many uses for helicopters. Whoa. on Children's Museum in Olympia, Washington. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is spell my name. 
Yeah, will you spell my name with me? B L I P P I. Blippy. Good job. All right. Choo choo. Choo choo. Ha! <laughs> Wee! Hey, it's me, Blippy. Wow, and look at where we're at. Whoa, what a cool store. Hey, wait a second. We're at Allegro Performing Arts Academy in Kent, Washington. Yeah, you know how I like to dance? Whoa, yeah! Wow, this place is where you can come and dance in one of their studios, and you can even maybe take a dance lesson. Woohoo! <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun. Let's go! Oh, hey! Hello. Who are you? My name is Emily. Ooh. Who are you? I'm Blippi. I'm here for the class. Awesome. Sounds like so much fun. Yeah, what should I do? So you can go ahead and go back into the studio and I'm going to be able to teach you a dance class today. Okay. So okay. go ahead and start stretching. Okay, let's go stretch and get warmed up. Let's go. Whoa, check it out. This is a dance studio. This is where you and I are going to learn our dance from Emily. Whoa! Check it out! There's some nice smooth floor. Yeah, it's really shiny. <laughs> Whoa! 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 Look at this! This? Yeah, this looks like a mirror. Whoa! Hello! Hey! <laughs> yeah, dance studios have mirrors right in front of you, so then you can practice your dance moves. Whoa! Yeah! Wow! <laughs> and see how you did. I definitely nailed that one. <laughs> okay, remember what Emily said? Yeah, we need to stretch and we need to warm up before she comes in to teach us our dance lesson. Okay, first things first. I need to take off my shoes. Oh, oh, oh so stinky. <laughs> okay, let's put them right over here. Now we need to stretch. Yeah, we need to stretch our muscles really far and wide. So we do not injure ourselves. So first, let's stretch down. See how I'm stretching? Oh, I can almost touch my toes. <laughs> now we need to warm up, she said. Yeah means we need to get our body moving in some way or another. I mean, you could jog if you want. Yeah, you could jog. You can do some squats. <laughs> wow. Or you can just do some sweet dance moves to warm up. Yeah, that's what I like to do. Oh, hey Emily! Yeah, I love learning and I love dancing! <laughs> sure! Awesome! Would you like to see it first? Yeah! Okay, she'll show me the dance first and then I'll learn it! Whoa, that looks really hard. But I think I'm up for it. Will you teach me? Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> All right, so how we're gonna start is we're gonna start really close to the floor. So you wanna make a ball pose. You wanna get really close into your knees, right? Okay. Yes, from here you're gonna hold four counts. So you're gonna count in your head. One, two, three, four. Then you're gonna make a big star pose, jump your legs out, reach your arms way up to the sky. And you hold this for four counts, and we're gonna count it five, six, seven, eight. Then from here, you're going to shake your hips side to side with big arms, starting to the right side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, now we're gonna learn what's called a grapevine. Yes? Ooh, okay, yeah. I don't see any grapes though. <laughs> Silly goose, it's a dance move. So oh, you're gonna okay. start with your hands on your hips. You're gonna step out with the right foot. 
you step out to the side, you cross this next foot behind, your left foot behind, then you step out again, then you're gonna jump together and clap on count four. <laughs> and then you're gonna step out to the side on the left, step out to the side, cross that right leg behind, step the left foot out, out, jump, clap together. Good. Then from here, we're gonna make strong arms down at our sides. You're gonna step, touch, side to side. So you step out with the right foot, out, then step together with that left foot, together. Step with the left foot out, right foot together. Step right foot out, left foot together, good. Step left foot out, right foot together. <laughs> now, last thing we need to learn. You're gonna step out with your feet, hands are gonna go into your knees. You're gonna bounce two times, ready? You bounce, one, two, then you do two claps. But it has to be at the same tempo as the music. Okay. <laughs> yes. So you bounce. One, two, clap. Good. Now make sure your feet are nice and wide apart because we want to be confident when we dance, right? Oh, okay, yeah, confidence. Absolutely. So we always want to make sure we have nice wide feet. Close feet, not so much. You want nice wide feet. So you do okay. want to try every single move nice and slow all together. Okay. All right. Now remember, we have to count in our head to eight. Okay. Was that it? That was it. Wow. That was it. I just learned the full dance, and I think I'm ready. Am I ready? I think we're ready. Okay. Awesome. Let's hit that music. One, two, three, four, six. Shake your hips. Good job and good job to you. Thank you so much, Flippy. Yeah, well, thank you for teaching me and them how to dance. Absolutely. <laughs> hey, check this out. Emily's doing another dance. Come on. Whoa, this style of dancing is called jazz. It looks like so much fun! <laughs> you know jazz? Yeah! It's a type of music! <laughs> Check it out! <laughs> Whoa! Do you see what Emily's doing now? Yeah! She's doing ballet! <laughs> and she's actually using the ballet bar. Check it out! That is so cool, and this type of dancing is so elegant. Wow. Whoa! I have been having so much fun dancing today. Woo! <laughs> what? 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 Ah! <laughs> Do you like dancing? <laughs> yeah, I like dancing because it's a great way to. Get out your energy and exercise. Yeah, I love being healthy. Hey, I have an idea. Why don't I teach you a dance so then you and I can dance together? Would that be fun? Yeah. Okay, the first thing about dancing is what's called rhythm. Yeah, every song has rhythm. It's basically the beat. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna clap my hands. 
and then you clap your hands with me at the same time, okay? Ready? Good job! Yeah! Do you feel this? Yeah! This is rhythm! Yeah, we did it. Good job. Okay, so now I'm gonna do that again, but now we're gonna want to move our legs to the rhythm, okay? Ready? Here we go. There we go. We got it. Double time. <laughs> Good job. Okay, now that we understand rhythm and beats, now we can learn the parts of the dance, okay? First thing, yeah, you see this up there? Yeah, what machine is that? Yeah, that is a bulldozer. So we're gonna dance as if we're bulldozers. First, you need to put your hands up like it's the blade of the bulldozer. Yeah. <laughs> okay, then you need to move your legs and dance like a bulldozer. Yeah, there we go. We're totally like bulldozers. <laughs> I love bulldozers. Whoa. <laughs> okay. All right, so that's gonna be the first dance move. And then, the second dance move, yeah, we're gonna act like kangaroos. Yeah, do you know what a kangaroo is? Yeah, whoa, <laughs> such cool animals. <laughs> okay, the cool thing about kangaroos is how high they can jump. All right, put your hands like this, and then jump really high. Whoa! <laughs> okay, I bet you can do that one really good at home. <laughs> okay, now the third dance move we're gonna do is... Yeah, that's a dinosaur, isn't it? What kind of dinosaur is that? Yeah, a T-Rex! Good job! Okay, so the funny thing about T-Rexes are they have short little hands. <laughs> yeah, like that. <laughs> but they're actually really fierce. So you have to act fierce. <laughs> okay, but now we need to put that all into rhythm and a beat. Yeah, and then you act like a T-Rex. <laughs> okay, those are the three dance moves. But now, remember, we need a rhythm and a beat. So, hit it, DJ. Remember the first one? Yep, bulldozer dance. Good job! <laughs> Plow the dirt! Wow! That was really good. I'm really proud of you. That was such a good bulldozer dance. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna go into the second dance move. Remember it? It was an animal. And it jumps really high. Yeah! A kangaroo! Ready? Wow, kangaroos are so cool. They can jump so high. Woo! All right, shake it off. Okay, now for the third dance move, the T-Rex. Ready? Rah, rah, rah. 
Rah! 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 Oh, I am so tired. Did you see that? Yeah, that was so much fun doing all those sweet dances today at Allegro Performing Arts Academy in Kent, Washington. Wow! <laughs> I sure do love the dance. Hey, if you're around this area, you can come and do the very same creative movement class that I did today. Wow, that was so much fun. Or, yeah, I'm sure you have a local performing arts studio where you can learn to dance. Yeah, there's a lot of cool dances you can do, like jazz and tap and ballet. Whoa, even acro. <laughs> That sounds like so much fun. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. -I. Blippi. Good job. All right. I'm going to go and take a nap now at home. I am so tired. <sighs> Oh, hey! It's me, Blippi. Check this out. This is my metal detector. It's used to detect metal underground that we can't see with our eyes. Yeah, I haven't found anything yet, though. Do you hear that? We must have found something. Whoa! Check it out. It's a key. Wow. This is a really big key. Huh, I wonder whose it is. Hey, it actually looks like it could have come from Kids Jewelry Heist in South Pasadena, California. How about we go visit them? <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Oh, here we are. I love this place. Let's go inside and see what it's like. Come on. Wow. This place is so cool. Look at this. This is a diamond enlarger. Wow, look at that giant diamond. It shoots light rays down and then you see things really up close like this stone. Whoa, or like those gold coins or these necklaces or these bracelets. This place is so cool. <gasps> look at this. This is a giant book of pirate ships. Wow, have you ever been on a pirate ship? <laughs> I love pirate ships. Wow. Oh, look, a person. Ahoy there, matey. <laughs> Welcome to Kids Jewelry Heist. Hey, who are you? I am Kelly the Kid. Ooh, Kelly the Kid. That's a cool name. And I think it is time for you to go on a treasure hunt. Oh, a treasure hunt? I love treasure hunts. Do you love treasure hunts? Yeah! Here is your first secret clue. <gasps> Ooh, a secret clue. It reads, treasure clues for Blippi and crew. Crew, that's you! Okay, let's read it. <gasps> Listen in close and I'll give you a tip. Look for my first secret clue underneath a golden ship. Wow! Wait a second. I know where that could be. Wait! Before you go, you must look the part, Blippi. Look the part? <gasps> oh, a new wardrobe! <laughs> yes! And good luck! Okay, thank you! <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun. First, we need to look the part. Yep, gotta wear our pirate hat, because pirates love their treasure. And then, we have to wear this pirate coat. How do I look? <laughs> Not complete without a pirate sword. <laughs> All right, here we go. Now we get to go explore. Whoa. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. This place is so amazing. It's so magical. Okay, come on up here. Wow, look at this. Ooh, <gasps> wow, it's 
so colorful over here. And it did talk about the color gold. Yeah, a golden ship. Do you, do you see anything? <gasps> yeah, right over there. Good job, come on. Looks like we found another clue. Next to this golden pirate ship. <laughs> Good job. Huh, pretty interesting. Let's see what it reads. Okay. It reads, my pink feathered friend is at it again, telling all my secrets, but can you find him? <laughs> I think I know what that is. Pink feathered friend, yeah. That means probably a bird that's the color pink. Okay, here we go. Okay, we need to find a pink bird. Do you see any? Come here, bird. Come here, bird. <laughs> huh, no, I'm not seeing any pink birds. Let's see, maybe over here. I love searching for clues. Hmm. Let's see here. Huh. <gasps> there it is! Do you see that pink bird? Hey, birdie! Hello! It's me, Blippi. How are you doing today? <laughs> Will you act like a bird with me? <laughs> Go! 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 <laughs> okay, the clue must be around here. <gasps> there it is, right up there. Oh, wow. A gold chain. Whoa, and another clue. Good job. Okay, let's read what it says. You're going to need me to go under sea. I help divers swim and protect when they breathe. Hmm. Okay, we need to look for something that helps someone breathe underwater. Hmm. What could it be? <laughs> I don't know. All right, let's take our loot and keep on exploring. <laughs> This table is so cool! <laughs> and it's a mirror. Check this out. Hey, I see you! Do you see me? Hey! <laughs> That's so silly. Okay, and this table is made of newspaper. Ooh, and there's these pieces of wood. That wouldn't help you breathe underwater. But that's really cool. Wonder what you use those for. Hmm. Ooh, some pretty lights. <gasps> Listen! Do you hear that? <laughs> okay, we're looking for clues, not bells. <laughs> Ooh, look at this! <laughs> Hello! Hey! It's a frog! Can you see the frog? <laughs> He's a silly boy. Will you act like a frog with me? Ribbit. 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 <laughs> oh, a silly frog. They can actually go underwater for a pretty long time, but I don't think they really help humans breathe underwater. Oh, look at this. This is a grandfather clock. It is so big. Oh, hey, another bird. Oh, hello, crow. <laughs> or is that a raven? I don't know, but that's a really cute bird. Go, go! So many birds in here. And I don't think the clock will help us. Clocks help you tell time, not breathe underwater. Hmm. It's so colorful. Oh, and beads? Look at this. Wow, some big beads. Pick four big beads. Hmm, we might as well do that, right? Yeah, while we're looking for clues, we can pick up some beads. Look at this. One blue bead. 
Let's see. <gasps> Another blue bead. Now I have two blue beads. <laughs> okay, let's see. Wow, there's so many beads in here and they're so colorful. Like this one, this red bead. Let's put that. So we had two, now we added another one. So that's three beads and we need a fourth one. How about this one? A fourth bead and this is a red bead. So now we have four big beads. Yeah, four big beads. Okay, let's keep on looking. Whoa, more beads. Wow, and these are small. What does this sign say? Pick 10 small beads. Okay, that'll be pretty easy. Let's pick 10 small beads. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Last one. 10. 10 small beads. <laughs> wow, they're so colorful. Wow, I love these beads. That was so much fun. <gasps> Do you see what I see? Look at it. This is a scuba helmet. Yeah, the scuba divers wear scuba helmets while they go underwater to breathe. Yeah, that's our clue. Oh, look, <gasps> another clue. <gasps> I'm so excited. Okay. Oh. okay, let's read it together. Eight crazy legs an octopus has. And if you find the golden one, my treasure is yours at last. <gasps> okay, I know what that means. We must find a golden octopus. Yeah, that'll be pretty easy. All we have to do is keep exploring to find the golden octopus. Hmm. I love this place. It's so cool. Oh, look, more beads and more treasures. Wow, look at this. Oh, this has a crab in it. Whoa, look at that. It's such a small crab. <laughs> and look at these. This has a beetle in it. Whoa, that is a really pretty beetle. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Okay, let's keep exploring to try and find the golden octopus. Wow. Huh, let's see. Do you see it anywhere? Huh. <gasps> yeah, there it is. It's a golden octopus tentacle. Wow, look at it. Whoa, that's so great. But where's the next clue? <gasps> Whoa! Look at it! It's a treasure chest! Yeah, we did it! We found the hidden treasure! Yeah! It's locked! How do we open it? Hmm. Wait a second. Do you remember when we were at the park and we used the metal detector to find the key? Yeah, we have it right here. Oh, yeah! What if we use the key to open the treasure chest? Here we go! Yeah! Look! The final treasure! Congratulations, Frisbee! <laughs>
Oh! Now for the best part, we're gonna make that loot into a magical necklace. Ooh, a magical necklace? Follow me! That sounds like so much fun! Let's go! <laughs> Have a seat, Blippi! Oh, yeah! Remember this part? <laughs> wow, I'm so excited! First thing we do is grab your treasure and put it on the center of the board. Okay. Yeah, remember all of this that we got earlier? Okay, let's put the magical treasure on the center of the board. <gasps> Whoa, a shark tooth! And it's gold. <laughs> okay, like that? Perfect. The next thing we're going to do is take your colorful beads and put them on either side of your board. All right. Okay, let's take the two big red beads, then the two big blue beads, the two small blue beads, the two green blue beads, the two turquoise greenish blue beads, the two yellow beads, and then, last but not least, the two pink beads. Huh, there we go. That is beautiful. Now, what we need to do is add the solid gold chain. <gasps> yeah, remember that chain from earlier? It's solid gold. Whoa, look at it! It's so heavy! Okay, let's add it. Okay, let's put it like this. There we go. Perfect. All right, how's that? That is wondrous. Are you ready? Oh, I am. Let us get your necklace done. Here we go! Whoa! Look at that! Wow! Oh, wow! It's a necklace with magical powers! So cool! Flippy, I want you to try it on. <gasps> try it on? It has magical powers. I wonder what it's gonna do. All right, here we go. Oh, gotta take off this hat first. <laughs> okay, here we go. Whoa! Where'd I go? Flippy? Oh, Blippi! <laughs> did this turn me invisible? Well, I think it did! Whoa, that's so cool! It's definitely magical! Well, where'd I go? You know what? Take it off so we can find you. Okay, here we go! Whoa! Hey, <laughs> there, there you are! are. <laughs> that's so silly! That was awesome, making this magical necklace at Kids Jewelry Heist in South Pasadena, California. It was our pleasure. <laughs> we had a magical time. Great job, Lippy. Yep, and good job to you. We did an awesome job. All right, well, see you later. Until next time. Bye-bye. Whoa! Whoa! You see what I'm doing? I'm spraying water out of this hose. And do you see what vehicle it's attached to? A fire truck! <laughs> I love fire trucks because firefighters get a ride in them from point A to point B and put out a fire! And how it goes, yeah! These wheels and tires! It goes on the road because these roll! Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> And that is why it's another form of transportation. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! This is a mode of transportation. Some people travel by their Gucci. Whoa! Whoa, do you see that? Yeah, that is an airplane. And airplanes are another form, whoa, of transportation. <laughs> I'm gonna get inside and fly the airplane. Whoa, look at this. Whoa, all right, here we go. Whoa! 
Yeah! Woohoo! I love flying airplanes! Airplanes are so much fun! Whoa! Whoa! It's a giant space shuttle. Yeah, how do you get to outer space? With a car? Nope. A boat? Nope. An airplane? Nope. A space shuttle! Yeah! If we go in here, since it's a mode of transportation to go to outer space, we can fly to outer space together. Okay, let's see here. Okay. Unlocked. Great. Yeah. Okay. Unlocking mode of transportation to the moon. Yeah. Unlocked. Good job. All right. Here we go. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to the moon. <laughs> Whoa. Today, I'm at the Hands-On Children's Museum in Olympia, Washington. And I am so excited because this place, you get to learn so much. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, hey, hey. I was just using this telescope to see some really cool things. Whoa. Wow, speaking of cool. Look at this wall! Wow! There's a lot of pumps and pushes the air through these tubes. And check this out. Let's take a green handkerchief and put it right in here. Or it's a scarf. Ready? Whoa! Whoa! Oh, there it is! <laughs> Shall we do it again? But this time, let's turn this. And now it's gonna take a different path because it blocked the air from going the original path. Ready? Three, two, one. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> that was fast. Okay, let's go right over here and try a different color. Like this yellow scarf and this orange scarf. Ready? Three, two, one! Whoa! Whoa! Under the leg! <laughs> Woohoo! Yellow and orange! Whoa! What is this? This is where you can build a rocket ship and then on the other side, blast it off. All right, first we need this wrap around one piece of white paper. Yeah, here we go. Yeah. And then we take a piece of tape. <laughs> tape is really nice. Two, tape two pieces of paper together. Just like this. You can also use glue, but glue sometimes gets a little messy. So this time we're just gonna use tape. All right, now, we have the body of the rocket. Okay, now we need to make fins just like this. Hmm, let's see here. How do we do this? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right, let's cut them. It used to be a big rectangle, but now I'm gonna go like this. made a triangle. Okay, now let's fold it like that. Okay, there's one. Now, now we have another triangle. Yeah. Okay, fold that. Now we can tape these fins on the body of the rocket. Ah, 
That tape is really tough. Okay, here. Okay, there's one fin. How does that look? Really good. Then we'll do a fin on the other side. There we go. Yeah, how does that look? That looks really good. <laughs> now we need to do the nose cone. We can use the same piece of paper. All right, so it looks like we do a little circle, but then we go like this. It's kind of a circle on one side, half circle, and then makes a point. So then, looks like you roll it up, just like that. Perfect. Now, ugh, we can take this. Whoa, we're almost done. All right, now let's tape this to the rocket. <laughs> My rocket. Ugh. Doesn't look that good, but we'll see how it flies. <laughs> Let's also take some of these from previous people. And maybe one of these will fly really good, just in case if mine doesn't fly, this one looks like it might fly really good. We'll bring this right over there. Okay, this is the launch pad. First thing you have to do is put it right on the launch pad. All right, this is the rocket that I made. And then we need to pressurize it. There we go. All right, and this is the launch button. I'm gonna launch it. Five, four, three, two, one. Whoa, oh, we did it. Yeah, good job. That was the rocket that you and I made. All right, and remember that rocket that we grabbed from the recycling bin? <laughs> Let's see how good this person's rocket goes. All right, okay. Ooh, that's on there nice and snug. Gotta pressurize it. Woo! T minus five, four, three, two, one, zero! <laughs> That's why it was in the recycling bin. <laughs> That's so silly. Hey, come on. Whoa, this looks like an art studio. Whoa, and check that out. That looks like a homemade robot. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that is art because someone made it. Ooh, even a sink, so then you can wash your hands. So you might get a little dirty in the art studio. This area is really cool because it has hot glue guns. They're turned off right now, but it melts this glue really hot. And then you can glue things like that really quick. Whoa, hey, look at these. These are art pieces that other kids made. Wow, they look so beautiful and so colorful. Whoa, let's keep exploring. I love creating things. <laughs> oh! Oh, hey! Hi! Who are you? My name is Bryn. Ooh, that's Welcome a nice to... name. Welcome to the Make Space. Ooh, the Make Space? Whoa! What do you do at the Make Space? Here we can make all sorts of arts and crafts. We can build robots, we can do some painting, we can even do some drawing and coloring. Whoa! That sounds like fun. Do you have an art project that I can do? We sure can. Would you like to build a crown? Oh, sure. This right here, you can take that and go ahead and decorate however you would like it. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. Bye-bye. All right, let's make a crown together. Wow. All right, so let's take this. And it looks like we take these yellow things and wrap it around our head. Oh, wait, it's not big enough. Wait a second, I have an idea. Let's take this stapler and staple two together, just like that. And now, 
it can definitely wrap all the way around my head. So let's make sure it's the correct size. Perfect. There we go. There we go. Now I have some extra that I'm gonna take a pair of scissors and cut off the extra. Yeah, see, now it's a circle and this will fit on my head. Yeah, just like that. All right, let's put the extra back in here. And now we get to use all of these things to decorate. So let's put the stapler back and now let's take this marker and color some blue squigglies on it. Yeah, that looks really nice. Ooh, yeah. Hmm, what other color? Maybe a purple marker. And we'll do some squigglies, but the other opposite way. Whoa. And we'll go meow. And then this side, we'll do zigzags. Wow! Down the middle. Ooh, and we'll do some black. Whoa, this is looking so good! There we go. Okay, now we have some yellow things that are, are uh, nice and soft. Tickle, tickle, tickle. <laughs> Okay, let's put some yellow things right here, just like that. See that? Yeah, this is looking really good. Good job. Okay, there's another one. Wow. We'll do a third one. Perfect. There we go. Move those like that. All right, how is this looking? Really good? But I know one thing it's missing. I think it's missing a flower. <laughs> okay, I'll put that right there. How do I look? <laughs> now you can call me King Blippi. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Good job being creative. <laughs> tickets, get your tickets. <laughs> Who wants a ticket? my show. <laughs> yeah, I'm selling tickets to my show. <laughs> Do you want to see my routine? Yeah, it's going to be really funny. Okay, I got to go backstage and get ready. Meet me back there, okay? Oh no, this isn't good. I'm not prepared at all. Oh, okay. Okay, Blippi, you got this. Blippi, you got this. Okay, okay, I got this. Ladies and gentlemen, Blippi! Test! Testing! Oh, okay, welcome everyone. I have some really funny jokes for you. <laughs> Okay, what do you call a dinosaur that's sleeping? A dinosnore. <laughs> oh. Okay, um, why did the child cross the playground? To get to the other slide. Oh. <laughs> This isn't working. I gotta figure out something fast.
fun learning while playing at this hands-on children's museum in Olympia, Washington. <laughs> Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is spell my name. Yeah, will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I, Blippi. Good job.